Hey y'all, today we're here with Ryan Covington. Um, just talking to him, getting to know him a little bit better and hearing about his experience at Fit People. Hey Ryan. Hey. How are you? Doing? you? doing well. Good. Okay, so tell us about what led you to Fit People. How did you even find out about Fit People? Okay, um, it's probably about 16 months ago. Um, before that, I gained a lot of weight. I was probably almost 100 pounds overweight. So I was about 275 pounds. And uh, I saw, started losing weight on my own and started dieting, doing things like that. I tried a traditional gym that didn't work out. I wasn't motivating myself. Yeah. Then I started looking at other options like CrossFit and things like that. It just didn't work out with my personality. And I was looking through Facebook and I saw y'all two um, uh, doing an interview. And I was like, oh, there's Taylor. And I was like, well, let me go in there and see what's going on, mm-hmm. you know? So I came in here. You know, gave me an assessment, told me what they expected of me, put me in a group and let me know that. Because at the time I couldn't even do my VO2 max, I couldn't even step up steps for a minute. Because mm-hmm. at that time I was pre-diabetic type two, I had two blown out knees, my back was hurting, and a lot of places where I would go in, they would talk to me, they would kind of smucker behind my back because I think they were just saying, hey, this guy's not gonna make it mm-hmm. a month or he's not gonna mm-hmm. do this. And then, you know, after a while, it kind of gets to you, you know, Mm -hmm. you kind of get really demoralized and kind of get a little depressed because you think, hey, if nobody's out there willing to help me, you know, if I'm paying them good money, they don't want to help me. Yeah. Who's going to do it for me? Because at that point, I was not physically capable of getting myself where I need to be. Right, right. Gotcha. So you came in, you did your assessment. What did you find, what did you feel like was the most, challenging thing in the beginning working out or what did you everything in the beginning was hard i'm not gonna lie i mean at that phase it was so bad i mean you know i I could hardly get down on the ground and get myself back up without i couldn't do a mountain climber i couldn't do anything without actually putting my whole body into it and pushing myself Mm -hmm. up but the good part was y'all worked with me and y'all knew that i was in such bad shape Mm -hmm. disarray and you know, I also had some self-esteem issues and things like that. And yeah. y'all worked with me, and that's that's what helped. Right. And then after a while, I realized that y'all, both y'all, the trainers here, everybody had confidence in me, and I was the only one lacking the confidence myself. Mm-hmm. So after a while, I started building more confidence. I started getting more secure about what I'm doing, and mm-hmm. this helped motivate yourself when other people are willing to motivate you even more than you think you can do. Yeah, you know? yeah, and you started... I mean, you were coming five days a week and things seemed like they were starting to get easier for you. And what was one of the things, if you can remember back, like what, what did you love about the workouts or what did you, did you look forward to them or? Power days are my favorite. You know that. <laughs> Power days are good. I, I just love coming in and just throwing up a whole bunch of weight and not have to worry about complex movements. But at the same time, I like the complex movements because I could see that different parts of my body are actually getting muscle tone and just mm-hmm. like what I said earlier last time that the uh, muscles in my rib cage were kind of hurting. Yeah. Didn't even know I had muscles there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what would what would you say like your I mean it's been over a year that you've been training here with us now. Um, what do you feel like keeps keeps you coming back? What do you just enjoy about I mean obviously working out's hard and yeah. it's not easy, but what do you feel like motivates you to continue on and well, to keep going the one the one thing i like the most is uh different changes in the routine mm-hmm. like one day you'll have this but it might be uh, a different set of it or a different manner in which we accomplish the same goal but mm-hmm. it's changed up a little bit it's mm-hmm. not like going in there and just doing the same thing over and over yeah in repetitive motion and then you have your certain days where we know we can come in and we're just doing the repetitive motions which is nice and stuff like that too uh, but they all have their hits and messes. But I mean, I think the uh, the morale and the compassion of everybody around here, the family atmosphere is great. Yeah. And you probably heard the baby in the background. Yeah. We've always got kids. Yeah. Kids around here. Um, well, we really appreciate you just stopping by and talking to us a little bit about your experience. And, and we're so happy that you're still here training with us. So thank you. Okay, no problem.